A developing story tonight. A child and two adults found dead in Greenwood County. The coroner says all three of them were shot in the head. And tonight we're learning more about the victims, including an eight-year-old little girl. This is a look at 30-year-old Michael Frazier and 44-year-old Natasha Don McDonald. Their bodies were found inside their home on Perch Street just after 10 o'clock this morning. The coroner has not released the name of the eight-year-old victim, but tonight we're hearing from her family members and a next-door neighbor. Fox Carolina's Brooklyn Cromer is live at the Greenwood County Sheriff's Office. Brooklyn, what do we know tonight about this just tragic case? Well, earlier I spoke to a neighbor who didn't want to go on camera, but she tells me that she and another neighbor actually made this horrific discovery. She says that one of the victims hadn't shown up for work, so a concerned coworker called and asked her to do a well check, and she says that's when they went inside and found the three victims dead. I couldn't believe it. Um, I was in shock. Um, I'm actually still in shock. Um, I can't grasp my head around all of it. Christy Sisk says she fell to the ground when she heard the news that her friends and next door neighbors were found dead inside their home. We don't understand. Nobody. I don't understand any of it. The Greenwood County coroner confirms Natasha Dawn McDonald, Michael Frazier, and his eight-year-old daughter were found dead inside their home on Perch Street. All three had gunshot wounds to the head. The little girl's aunt tells us their family is heartbroken. I want answer. I want to know what happened. What's going on? I mean, a child is dead. Don't know nothing. It's scary. It's devastating. Their next-door neighbor agrees. She says she's known them for years. And that's what makes this so shocking. They were great people. They were great people. I never, never seen anything. They were always great. We were always laughing, smiling. We all hung out. Sisk says her nine-year-old grandson was best friends with the eight-year-old girl. Always smiling. There's not a time that I can remember ever seeing her not smiling. She was the prettiest and the most amazing, the smartest little girl I ever known. She says the hardest part was telling her grandson his friend was gone. Broke his heart and he doesn't understand and I don't know how to explain it. When he found out about it, they, um, he was up on the bed and he was praying. She says she's heartbroken over their deaths and never imagined something like this could happen next door. I can't imagine how many of them feel. I, I, can't, I can't even put myself in their place. I really can't. But I know one thing, they were great people, and they don't need to be forgotten. And the calls and manner of death is still pending, but we do expect to find out more once autopsy results are released in the next few days. Live in Greenwood County, Brooklyn Cromer, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.